it out. Um, but yeah, again, I was just trying to get all that out. I thought like that was somewhat dry. It's raining here. That's the pipe coming across. Yeah, you kind of running right into it. So our plumbers will have to come. Right? They'll probably raise that, raise that back up and get up above us. Is it normal that the PVC would be so low? Because you, you, that's not being ex, is that being exposed? PVC? Yeah. Well, they have, they have to drop down a certain distance before they start turning. And some galvany old double wall um, elbows rather, and uh, some reducers, a double wall, and that looks like the cutting off chain with the yellow. Mm. I don't know who's on face. Yeah, I mean some of those bigger jobs give them more intent on the coordinate and all. They'll put out schedules, uh, you know, for certain areas. Like the hot clothes, you're working on the city, and you might have a, a certain finish date for a floor, and they'll schedule you to take your trades and come in certain times. Sometimes they all show up, everybody's fighting over who's going to get where, and there's yeah. no coordination drawing. A lot of times they have coordination drawings, and it, it tells us, like on this guy, the bottom of that done. On this guy, we've done what they call film drawing. Yeah, like a 3D. Yeah. Here's where it happened. Here in our office, they said the being drawn in construction, typically in construction, you had like a 45 degree on a 60 degree on this wedding. Swimming, I think you can go with a lighter beam if you do more bracing than a heavier beam with a 45 degree, which would be less bracing. Hmm. Our Ben drawing's got 45. He drew it. He's got that duct passing right through it. Down here, he's got the duct passing through it. And I went back to the office. First day we showed up here and set curves on the roof, get ready for the roof. I went back and I said, what did they see? He showed it me on his computer. He rolled it around. That ain't going work. Wait, so did you got 60 degree on <laughs> yeah. that? He said, well, that's not what they said. We just got to get run to. What will you do? Yeah. Well, we we got a couple options. What we might do there is split out and make two like yeah. pants leg, like breech leg. Uh, yeah. and we'll take our square inches of the rectangle, uh -huh. two smaller ducts to pass through, and then do the same thing on the other side. Uh, we're just gonna get it run to a certain point, and then I'll call the meeting and just send an RFI. Kind of other options, you know, on the front end, yeah, they could have done heavy, heavy gauge beam by looking at going across the center and it would have all the way up. Everything would have been fine, so don't seem like we ever... I'm surprised they didn't raise the ceiling. Height of the buildings. That's, that's uh, what clouds in. I could show you a ceiling print that would... Uh, show you kind of what we got. You know, you'll have like sheetrock ceilings, but they might be. Uh, sometimes they're kind of overlapped and they're stacked on top of each other. With a gap? Like With a gap. Okay, like, like see a through. Foot gap or like a different stuff. Foot and a half. Yeah. I mean, okay. You can't that, really walk up. Is that the new thing? Is that the new kind of? You've seen it before. Years, though, yeah. Did the um? Did the engineer not have? He has a. a he works off them, right? We always ask that same question. Like high in the hill. I mean, it's like the our the mechanical engineer through this never looked at how the buildings were really being built. My guy will tell you that. I mean, it's, our biggest thing that is they're more like these high ceilings. If you got say a multi-story building, say you got twelve foot in between the floors, they want a ten five building. They want to give you like eighteen inches. Grab AC, plumbing, sprinkler pipe, electrical, mess. You know, it's the same story, different address with us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's day after. So they, they do have the software. They're just. Okay, all this will be over here. Oh, is this going to be exposed? It's going to be exposed. And then the next 20 foot was going to be above a hard ceiling. And then when you got back down here and it turned, it was going back exposed. I mean, you know what kind of nightmare that would be trying to keep track of it. Yeah. So 
we ordered all those spiral fingers to be painted. And then that's when I called you and I started taking off all, all the rest of them. I said, no, I was like, there's not a price difference. I mean, it, it wasn't big enough to fool with. Yeah, it was a, not, not even a dollar. Something like a 13,000 pounds. There's a 400,000. What's that? Oh, it didn't matter. Do y'all have to do that a lot? Tap into the tap into duck that's our do you have to do that a lot? 